My name is Dr. Nadia Malik. Uh, I'm assistant professor in radiation oncology at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. Radiation actually can play many different roles uh, in the treatment of these cancers. So when we talk about upper GI malignancies, we're primarily referring to liver cancer, pancreas cancer, bile duct, and stomach cancers. Because anatomically, these tumors are in very complex locations in the abdomen, they have a lot of proximity to very important blood vessels, bile ducts, and other organs. So the surgery can often be technically challenging. So radiation is used uh, sometimes to downgrade or downstage the tumor to make the surgery technically more feasible and successful. So it can be used before surgery. It can also be used after surgery to maximize the chance uh, for cure. We have also many patients who are not surgical candidates uh, due to different comorbidities or just that the tumor is too large. So in that setting, we can use radiation with chemotherapy to try to treat the cancer in a more definitive setting. One of the really important roles of radiation is also in the palliative setting. So if patients have pain related to their tumor, uh, we can use radiation to shrink the tumor to improve their pain and dramatically improve their quality of life in many cases. Radiation comes in many different forms. Uh, there is uh, something called external beam radiation, there is brachytherapy, uh, there are seed implants that, that can deliver radiation, but for upper GI malignancies, we primarily use external beam radiation, and that is used in order to deliver maximum doses of radiation to tumors while sparing uh, dose to any critical organs nearby. So a more specialized technique that we use is uh, something known as IMRT, which stands for Intensity Modulated Radiation Therapy. It uses advanced programs and software to directly target tumor cells using different angles. This allows us to basically have a radiation dose that conforms to the three-dimensional shape of the tumor. It takes one large radiation beam and modulates into much smaller beams so that we can tightly distribute the dose around the tumor itself. We've had many research studies to show that this has been effective in you know, increasing our, our cure rate when it comes to these cancers. And it actually limits the side effects that the patient experiences uh, to make their treatments more tolerable. What uh, sets Roswell Park apart is that we are an NCI-designated cancer center. So because of that, we continue to be held to you know, very high standards for patient care as well as state-of-the-art research. We also have multidisciplinary tumor boards where we can discuss complex cases and come up with treatment plans that are unique to, to each patient.